Lee, how you doing? Hey man. Lesson two? Lesson two. How's things? Yes, good. Uh, two weeks has flown by. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's a good interval between lessons for me. Okay. Because it, it definitely, um, I'm uh, getting practicing most days, but probably not every day. Good. So I think the sort of the, the, uh, the one week interval would worry me slightly because, uh -huh. it, you know, if work happened in so many you end up going oh no I've only managed to get two sessions in but mm -hmm. I think with a two week thing I'm 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 gonna get you know eight nine practice sessions good. in in that two weeks which is good how are you fight are you doing are you ticking off the boxes on the little scheduler yeah so I'm still Do you find that helpful is it kind of helping keep you motivated and keep you on track it's it, it, yes and well so so the, obviously the schedule was kind of like it based around a half an hour window mm -hmm. and ten minutes of fun and then yeah, yeah, ten minutes of something else and blah yeah. blah blah, and I've probably uh, found that the depending on what the the element is. So, for example, trying to learn uh, do, doing the doing the scales and the up and mm -hmm. down a bit totally fits with that kind of you know it's it's a it's quite regimented. You can do mm -hmm. it for five minutes or whatever it is. Like that. The little wing thing mm -hmm. I've tended to do. I've needed to put as much time in until I get. To a bit where you the have bit you know mm -hmm. like as in there's no point kind of doing something well, I didn't find it was useful to sort of limit myself to saying 10 minutes if after 10 minutes I just go I haven't kind of got past the point where I mm -hmm. felt like I wanted to so I've sort of sort of done sometimes less sometimes more mm -hmm. and definitely what I what I spent the most time doing was just getting to the point where I where I could play the whole song, mm -hmm. albeit badly, and then I just continually continue to try and play the whole song all the way through, and, and it gradually gets faster and gradually right. gets better. And uh, but it was your, you know, I use your videos mm -hmm. as as you say. It's they're, you know, it's funny watching Super a video old. that's like eight, yeah, yeah. eight or nine years old or however old it is. Um, they might be twelve. Are they, like are they really? Old, yeah. You have got a beanie hat on in there. I've got a beanie hat on the flat cap. Yeah. Um, and it's the, but it's it's good, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm wondering. I guess there's no. I almost want like a a scroll, um, or I could almost do it with like a scroll bar on my keyboard to just be able to sort of go go to here, go back, because it's it's uh -huh. it's quite. Um, I guess that's the only irritating thing with learning off of YouTube is the sort of the is the sort of oh stop find mm -hmm. the point back in the video where I wanted it to go to. But yeah, it was good. One, one thing that you might find really helpful is making your own tabs of stuff. Yeah. So when there's if if you're learning and we talked a little bit about uh, making tabs for transcribing, yeah. But particularly with a, a tune like that, you might find it not only helps you not having to rewind so much because you can just yeah. look at the tab and and, and yeah. do it, but it can help you remember when you write it down yourself. There's something about like the shapes of it of writing it down that will yeah. help you memorize all of the bits and and as well it, it does things like. It'll make you focus a bit on what strings am I actually playing in this point because yeah. what ones am I going to write down? Like, yeah, yeah. am I really playing the second string or is it, is it just yeah. brushing? So it just makes you kind of consolidate some of that stuff a little yeah. bit. Um, just to talk about the practice times thing, I totally get where you're coming from on, on the tunes. The main idea of trying to limit even the fun stuff like that is that so it doesn't take away from something else that you should be doing mm -hmm. so if you do it last for example yeah. it doesn't really matter if yeah. you extend or, or or not what i what i would that one of the reasons why i said to you i'd like to see your routine would be because mm -hmm. if i if it shows that uh on the days that you did loads of practice on little wing you didn't do any practice on yeah. the scales i'd be yeah. like okay dude we need to either yeah. stop after a certain amount of time or do the, yeah. the you know the, eat your vegetables before you've had your pudding the, you know? the, the scale thing the, the the bit that i that i could not do and i still i because you said do the whole say up down up down mm -hmm. up down up down like that i cannot if i introduce into that routine a third thing to think about right so like you know i i i, I had to literally obviously there's an element of me is thinking about sort of you know where my fingers go although yeah. that's kind of you know becoming slightly that more looks second a lot nature. more confident than it was yeah. last time i saw you already that's and good. this hand is now sort of i what what i've consciously trained this hand to do i think or tried to is to just const the consciousness of that up down movement good rather than necessarily going down up down up down up down up yeah, yeah okay. so, you know 
and it, and I tried it. You know, as I'm trying to, I realised that what I'm, my brain, I don't know. Even though I'm, I'm either concentrating on saying the word up, down, up, down, or I'm concentrating on the actual plectrum, but uh-huh. not both. You can't do both. Okay. Um, so, but but what what definitely helped was this sense of what was this sense of rather than focusing on up down up down up focus on like a sort of a strumming mm-hmm. type action when you and, and then it kind of just naturally forced good that, that'll also kind of help you keep your hand relaxed as well i know yeah. um i've read some of the comments after our last lesson a lot of people were saying um you know uh it's really difficult to do this down and up picking because mm. you've got to do cross picking and, and there are points where you kind of got to go down up and then reach over the string to yeah. go back down and there's ways around this, this this downward pick slanting thing from the crack in the code and it's the stuff that I'd like to mm. take you through a bit yeah, more yeah. but before we get to that I want you to just mm. get co- confident it, with it's being still, in control yeah. of it. You know? I mean it absolutely doesn't feel economical. You right. know, it, mm-hmm. I can I can physically. I mean, that, I'm I'm exaggerating it there, mm-hmm. but but even when I'm not exaggerating it, I'm still feeling like there's a there's a there's a point there's a needlessly big mm-hmm. amount of pick movement to yeah. just do the up down thing. Mm-hmm. But if you you know, if you there's there's going to be bigger payoffs as yeah. we go along, yeah. particularly when it comes to the groove, the time of yeah. the lead playing. If you can keep that hand going, yeah. Not everyone does it, but more, a lot more than not of the yeah. great players seem to do, to approach it that way. So yeah. um, it'll be worth it. Let's let's start with that then. Seeing as you've just you bought that, let's just have a look. Nice and slow. Uh, don't put yourself under under any pressure. Sorry. Excellent. A nice so, timekeeping as well. Yeah, so that, and I would typically practice that. I've, the metronome's up to about 140 now, so okay. I'm probably a, a single pick, so that's probably a little bit faster than that as well. But it doesn't... Well it, it has become more second nature. So I'm, I'm less Good. think... It, it, as long as I'm confident that... I, in the, there's there's a, obviously a small part of my brain that can kind of cope with this idea of a, 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 like an up-down yeah. rhythm thing without... Good requiring too much brain power to take away from whatever cool. else is happening so i've got um, another new exercise for excellent you, which is based around the major scale and mm-hmm. it's still going to be alternate picking but one of the things i think is really important when you're learning scales is if you spend a lot of time practicing scales up and down when it comes to play mm-hmm. you're naturally going to play scales up and down a lot and it's yes it's generally not a great sound yes just playing them up and down now uh you're aware that chords are built in thirds right Yes. Yeah. So generally, if you're if you land on a note that's a good note and you go up a third, you're probably going to end up on another really strong note in the chord. Right. So we're going to now practice our major scale mm-hmm. in thirds. Okay. Okay. So actually, what I'm going to do Th- gonna... thirds just being. I'll show you in a sec. Hang on. Yeah. One, one second. I'm just. I didn't have a pick and I didn't have an acoustic guitar, so you can play electric. I'll play acoustic. So. What we're going to do, we'll use that A major scale that you're just doing right there, and we're going to start... So, we're going to start with note one, Mm -hmm. and then we're going to miss a note and play the next note, which would be a third above it. Okay, so down, up. Now we're going to go back to the note we missed, then we're going to miss one note and play the next note, second finger. Second finger, second finger. Oh, so that's it. Now the one we missed. Good, good. That's it. That's me. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, right. Let's see if you do. Now, leap. Stop. 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 When you're learning something for the first time, so slowly that because there's no way you could have continued doing the scale at that speed. Slower. Sorry. Slower, da, boo, good, third finger, good, first finger, da, fourth finger, third finger, da, Hang on, where, finger. where am I? I don't know, I've, I've lost where yeah, I am now. That's okay, Let's just turn your volume up, there we go. <laughs> Third, first, fourth, good, third, first, fourth, on the, 
the, the, the, the, the one you missed. That was. Oh yes, it, the, that's now this one. Yeah, yeah, back to the one you missed. Missed one. Back to the one you missed. Good. Little finger plays two strings in a row. Okay. That's it. Second finger. Good. First finger. Dad. Finish. Dad. That's it. That's, okay. That's, okay. Now, hang on. Just get uh, play me that. E. Yeah, close enough for Jeff. So, um, what am I plugged into? Am I into the Kemper? Into the Kemper. Yeah. Sir guitar and a Kemper amplifier. <laughs> I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Lee. I won't do it. Funnily enough, you, you, well, part of the reason for all of this new setting up stuff is I'm going to put two amps over here. Yeah. So that I can use the camper, but I can also. Work and ne on next time amps. I come over as well, I bring my pedal board. Dan built me my pedal board. Oh, uh, yeah. That's I'm good. sure. I, and a lot of the pedal. I saw a picture on Instagram, I didn't recognize most of the pedals. So, yes, we need to do a yes. little. I'll bring it over next time. You can time. introduce me Absolutely. to that. Uh, and I love yeah. those Schmidt array. Pedal I haven't got one of those. I mean, that's a thousand quid. A thousand quid? I think so. Yeah. Wow. I think you have to buy them direct from the dude, you know. And, and, and ever since, because uh, I saw Pete had one, it was like oh, all the good sexy. people. If you see, you need one because yeah. obviously all the good players have got them. But uh, I think it's oh, no. it's, it's um, the pedal world is like yeah, it's it's no longer all about just having like a couple of thousand bucks worth of pedals. Yeah, yeah. You've got to have like the thousand pounds <laughs> of the power supplies and cables <laughs> okay. and the board and yeah. anyway. Whatever. Yep. Anyway, Whatever. okay. So, so let's try back, it again. To, back to the major scale thirds. Now, now, just let me explain a little bit more again. So, um, when you're practicing it, I want you to stay aware of your alternate picking. Just constantly oh, stay wow, with okay. me for a second. Mm -hmm. So you'll still be going down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. It's actually a bit easier with this. You'll find it's probably easier sometimes than the scale. It'll force you through all of the different permutations of cross picking by, mm -hmm. by doing this exercise. And this is a lot more. Uh, a real life usable mm -hmm. practical way of playing scales than playing scales directly up and down it's yeah. more mu it sounds even more musical mm -hmm. do you hear what I mean yeah, yeah, it's no, got it's that sort super, of yeah it's great it's, it's got more of that uh, thing going when, on. and when you're coming back down okay what are you... it's exactly the same idea if we start so we would have finished um, yeah you finished on the A on the yeah on the A the root note we would then start again on this miss one which would be with the first finger so we play the little one and then play the one we missed missed one that's it back to the one we missed little finger so this is the hardest movement oh, on the whole thing is having these little finger playing twice that's it then back to the one we missed second finger second finger that's it good little finger first that's it. Yeah, that's it. Da 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 Finish it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, it's a wicked scale, but it's yeah. like, okay. No, that's definitely not in the brain yet. That's no, no, of, well, what's the what's the bit that doesn't remember anything? The front bit. I've yeah, got to get it into the back yeah, yeah. bit. So, um, I want you to alternate this week between playing the scale up and down with the metronome and playing the thirds, and I want you to keep a record of the speed of each one. But particularly with the thirds, I don't want you to think about going fast. I want you to think about going really solid. That's it. Okay. okay, now just there, one, just so one technical thing there yeah. as well. Watch out for these third finger laying over right. thing. Yeah, so try and keep, well, it's not, there are times that you want to do it, but if you yeah. want to do it really well, then yeah. it's worth paying attention to the tech. That's, that's kind of like one of those little bad habits that's better not to get into in the first place Fair because enough. it's a bit of a bitch to get rid of later on. Okay, now, so I, I uh, yeah, okay, so I don't need to really write this down or anything as such, I just need to, it's I'll, thirds, I'll, I'll it? put it on the notes, so it's, it, it's called playing a scale in thirds, and you can also do stuff like fourths, yeah, which is a bit of a pig because all of the, and fifths, even, I haven't done, 
I haven't done this in my oops. I haven't done that since I was at college, but it's those ones are a bit angular. Th thirds are a real solid, um, you know, a musical idea, a musical way of playing scales. That's it. Good. Just do it nice and slowly and make sure you get it right. Okay. I, I, yeah, it's cool. I, I, I know what you mean. I just, I, I'm conscious obviously in the context of the guitar lesson, we'll just move on to the next, but what I really want to do is just sort of just go pause, take yeah, 10 yeah. minutes to just kind of get that in the brain <laughs> and then, and then it's, uh, yeah, just because there's other things like in a normal lesson, yeah. you could, I mean, we could do that. I'm not opposed to the idea you of giving you some time. It's it's not, in previous lessons, it hasn't been uncommon for me to stop and just wait on something. There's just, there's a couple of other things that I wanted to chat to you about to do with the transcribing and little wing. Um, that's it. So okay. let's, let's, let's leave it at that. See if you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. with, with it's really nice. I mean, it almost sounds like a, a piece on its own, doesn't it? Almost sounds yeah. like someone's actually written that it's, tune, it, you know, like most a, melodies use yeah. these third intervals yeah, yeah. because they fit so well with the chords. So, and okay. it's, it's training your fingers yeah. to, if you play a right, a good note mm. if you've practiced your thirds more than practicing the scales your fingers will naturally want to go to mm. another good note you know they naturally go I, to a bad one i can feel already in my hand just clearly playing the same that that major scale mm. or just mix it up with like, the usual crappy pentatonic licks and everything like that i can feel what that's already doing is breaking the fingers out into going this is different that you've mm -hmm. done before and the fingers are going oh a bit uncomfortable and i'm like but in a, in a way, I'm going like, good. They're obviously, I'm yeah. training them to do something that they've and, not and, done And in before. a week's time, they yeah. won't be like that. They'll yeah. be like, I'm cool with that. And then yeah. I can give you some arpeggios and stuff, which if you yeah. look at arpeggios, mm. these are just little series of thirds. Yeah. So once you've got used to doing that, the advancement yeah. kind of, the next stage of moving on to arpeggios becomes even easier as well. Awesome. So that's, that's going to replace your scale work. So alternating, playing the regular major scale yeah. and playing the major scale in third. Yeah. So uh, we then had Little Wing. Yes. Now, how you? How did you go? Well, do okay. You so, play me, do you want to just play me not, uh, slowly, not not full speed? All right. Well, it's it's probably not. played it better and I've probably played it worse yeah. but it's it's um, I think the only thing that I've sort of consciously done on purpose is instead of it's going from the C to that that D uh -huh. as opposed to C to but only because Whatever. I like yeah. the sound of it but yeah. um, you're allowed to do that that's perfectly legit. but yeah and I think that the I think most of it you know as I said I've played it better and I've played it worse I, I, I've, I've definitely the, the the bits that the fingers struggle to, to jump to is uh, that uh, oh, mm. the two the definitely definitely I mean the video is awesome the, the the video is um, I said I, I, I'm the, the first time you watch it through the speed that which it goes is awesome mm. what what then happens within little wing is you get good at some bits of it and bad at other bits of it mm -hmm. and what you and then it becomes frustrating that you have to watch the bit that you're already quite good at quite slowly and you're like come on get, go faster get through this bit and then, <laughs> but which is why I, what i what i tried to do was keep like I, what i tried to do was just be a sort of a a bit just just roughly get each section mm -hmm. and then almost like stop watching the video and just play it play it through mm -hmm. the whole because the, the whole vibe with little wing is that it is the song it's the it's the mm -hmm. piece isn't it it's not necessarily it's no good if you learn each individual bit but then you can't Try put them together, together. Okay. but one um, thing one thing to stay aware of when there's a bit that you struggle with yeah give that more attention than the whole yeah. thing because if if you go through and and you're playing it from the beginning to the end every time yeah. but there's one bit that you find difficult all the yeah. time all of the other bits will get better yeah. and that bit will always be yeah, lagging yeah. behind yeah right so what's important is that if there is one little section that you have difficulty difficulty with like a chord jump 
moving from one chord to yeah. the other, or that, that you said you didn't like the, um, that little, uh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's, so practice doing this, literally go. So I was saying, the, the two bits that I've, the two bits I've got the problem is, is the first one is, is just getting the little finger moving, so. It's that, and I'm frustrated because not only is that probably yeah. mainly that sort of ninth to the tenth yeah. is I find that quite awkward, but I'm also finding that as I'm lifting the little finger off this finger yeah, here, this thing, as well. okay. I'm not getting it. But the bit that the one bit I have made some improvement, which I'm happy about, is I was then also finding that jump to the um, B flat major, B flat major uh, sl like painfully slow. I wasn't uh -huh. making that jump, but I, actually that's. That you realise is not too bad. Good. <laughs> and then the the other horrid one is. Hang on, before we go, let's talk about this little, okay. little finger bit. So this is a, a perfect example of a bit that you should practice over and over again, because yeah. otherwise, every time you go to play that piece, you're going to come to that part and you're going to either not like it if you're if you're ever performing it or playing it for somebody. There'll be like anxiety built up over the fact that yeah. oh that freaking lick is coming up. I'm gonna muck it up. I'm not gonna be able to do it or whatever. So doing like what we're just do, you're doing now, just do it over. Do you know? Sit there, go. Yeah. Then again. Try and tag a little bit on before, a little bit afterwards, yeah. just so that it's got some kind of context. That's it. And then again, du, 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 du. now if you were doing your piece, I would recommend spending like half of your time just working on the bits that are difficult, the hardest, the bits that are hardest, and then the rest of the time. Okay. So start with a playthrough or two playthroughs and go, okay, which of these hard bits am I going to sort out in this practice session? And it might be that or it might be another bit. And then you, yeah. for five minutes you just focus on doing that and then you go back to playing it all the way through. Yeah. I know it feels a bit tiresome, but it's one of those things that you, if you ignore it, that you'll pay the penalty for it later in that you'll always have, it'll, it'll never get as good as the yeah. other bits because the good bits, the comfortable bits, are going to get even more comfortable. Yeah. And I can, on, I can honestly say as well that from the first playthrough of that, where, although I knew the melody and I'd, and I'd played simplified versions mm -hmm. of that, you know, um, uh, and I was absolutely cack, you know, like I was just thinking, oh, it's just so soul destroying. And then you just got to go, do I even want to learn this that badly, you know, like that. But it's amazing just through not even that much practice. It's, it's I've amazing got, I've got what practice does. Well, well, it's amazing what practice does. And it's amazing oh. actually how much you can do with not a lot of, you know, mm -hmm. as in 10 minutes mm -hmm. of just doing something over and over again. Absolutely. It's funny, we often forget, all of us forget how potent practices that just uh, I, I've been I've, I've done more practice this week than I've done probably in the last couple of years because I got really into this Josh Smith thing and I've just been like learning stealing his licks and practicing his rhythms and stuff and it's been really inspiring and I'm noticing that I'm feeling better like oh my hand does actually work properly again now you know so yeah. we all we all have that that's a really cool thing oh, wow. so the, the other the other one that I yeah. don't like the jump to is so if you've got you've done the sort of uh, uh, where it, oh yeah. so I'm going and now I've got to get to this G but with the and that's just messy at the moment because I'm yeah. kind of I'm just I'm not I haven't got the muscle memory yet mm -hmm. to just go so I, I'm kind of, the, particularly my sort of first and third finger are generally kind of landing somewhere in the right place, but not always necessarily so exactly the right start place. Start here with your hand around the fifth fret, which is where you will have just finished. And then you've got that little slide. So ju just go from here and then concentrate on the fingers more than the thumb. So go back to the fifth fret, fingers all off. That's yeah. it, just like muted, that's it. And now see if you can jump to the chord. Ah! That's it. And again, just do it over and over. Oh my now, God, this is real, like, elementary slow, stuff, slow, isn't it? No, 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 it's not. 
this is real stuff. This is what this is big boys practice. <laughs> no, I'm serious because it's diffi it's it's difficult. You're you're yeah. approaching something that's really hard because that is a difficult mm -hmm. chord change. If you're not used to playing it, it's yeah. a bitch of a chord, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there comes a point where you're going to have to face up to the really hard stuff, and that's big boys practice. That's that's where what, it gets. What I meant elementary was I, I think I I remember my 14 year old self going. The, 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 dude. <laughs> but we all still, I still have stuff like that where I go, you know, to try and figure out a new chord grip or a new yeah. chord jump with, that's awkward. And I have to do the same thing. I have to sit down and practice. There was a, a Wes Montgomery tune I learned maybe six months ago, and I spent a whole morning just running through these chord changes really super slowly to try and get them under my fingers. Mm. We just have to do it sometimes. That's it. Cool. Okay. So that chord change yeah. is one of the things that I want you to target at least once or twice during the week. So yeah. just sit down and go play it through the whole tune and then sit down and just practice doing that chord change for as long as you can stand it more or less. Yeah. Which would probably be like two or three minutes of it, right? It's it's, uh, it's, 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 it's just so right. It's it's just it's just it's the potency. Just be thing repetitive again. and just don't you know. You're training muscle memory, and the only way that's going to happen is by doing it over and over again. There's, there's not really another way of, of... If there was a secret to it, I'd give it to you, but that's the secret. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, not, it's not a secret, it's just a, a thing that you have to do over and over again. Yeah. Uh, and, and But, dude, I, I had the feeling, and I might have been wrong, but I had the feeling when we talked about Little Wing as being a project for you that... I don't think that you thought it would be particularly easy. I think that you thought it was going to be really tough. But two weeks later, you can play it. And it, it, it can do with a little bit of polishing, but you yeah. can play it. And it, I think that's uh, really good. You should be happy. Yeah, I was. You know, I'm, I'm, and, and actually, yourself. one of the good things has been that, of course, you know, you in the practice routine, it's always like, you know, have 10, 15 minutes of fun mm -hmm. time like that. Once you can roughly ham fist your way through Little Wing, that becomes your 10 minutes of fun time. Absolutely. Anyway, so you're yeah. kind of killing two birds with one stone. Perfect. Um, well, uh, that's great. So, uh, so, which leads us on to the, yes. the disaster part of the okay. practice. Which was transcribing, right? It wasn't even trans. So, you put me on the spot a bit in the first lesson and said, name three songs yeah. like that. So, I did not much thought went into naming those three songs. It was it was almost like the first three songs that came to mind. But, you know, Bad Love, there's, there's I've, I've always, you know, I'm, I'm very fond of that album because mm -hmm. it, it, it was those formative, mm -hmm. you know, that time when I was trying to learn to be a guitar player. And Bad Love... Uh, I used to play in a, in a band as a rhythm guitar player, mm -hmm. so I kind of already had a, a head start on the sort of what the, 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 the sort of the, uh -huh. the you know and, and the and the, the, the interesting sort of riff that he does. So then he play he starts playing the solo, and it's in D, like it's sort of based around sort of D uh, pentatonic D minor pentatonic kind of scale. Um, and the first bend is is, but he's then got this. He's then hitting this like octave of that as the so it goes doo -doo 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 -doo, and he can go and listen to the song. So I'm going, well, the bend can't be here. So I'm then going, is the bend here? But even then I can't get to my thing. So I'm sort of going, is the bend here? You know? And I'm going, it can't be there. No. So and then I'm going, is it an overdub? Is he even playing it? I mean, I don't know, you know, because you. Uh, uh, is it that? You know. Can't do that. Can't do that. So and then, and then to be honest, and then I, and then I sort of got a bit disheartened, and then I go, I've got to transcribe this as well, and it's just like so. To be totally honest, you know, and then I sort of go, okay, well, let's just let's just assume that that let's not do that octave. Let's just do the or let, let's play let's play something because it's kind of it sounds a bit, um, you know, I don't know, maybe it's it's not that, but let, let's and then and then then there's huge bends in there, so there'll be like the next bend will be like. Or some something like that, and lots of and but but there are all the bits that I like what he does. This I call them triplets, and I don't know what the you know. But when he's playing the no, it was not that. Whatever that. Is, what, what do you trills. call that? Trills, trills, not triplets. Yeah. Little trills. Uh -huh. So anyway, I was kind of sort of doing a bad job of trying to work out even what the solo was, and then thinking I don't wouldn't know how to even transcribe okay. half this so stuff I've, anyway. I've, I've so I sort of. Didn't get very I've far got a that. suggestion for you. So I feel a bit 
bad as a teacher for allowing you to do a solo that I didn't know because right. I never learned that solo yeah. so I didn't really know what you were getting yourself in yeah. for I had a very quick listen to it and went yeah okay this might be okay yeah. but um, since then I listened to it and mm. it's actually quite a difficult solo because it's not super clear what's going on yeah. and solos to start off with are generally easier when they're up front where there, there's no other instruments or synths or other guitars and yeah. stuff getting in the way when it's really clear what yeah. it is that you have to do so um, uh, there would have been better choices for you yes. to start on your transcribing journey so what I'm going to suggest to you for this week just to get you going and to get you feeling a bit more confident and then we'll find yeah. another tune that you like or you yeah. can pick another tune that you like um, I'm going to give you a, a track the Eric Clapton track from mm -hmm. a s little series I did ages ago called really useful blues solos and basically mm -hmm. what I did is I transcribed a, a ton of Eric Clapton wrote down as many of the really the licks that seem to be common in amongst mm -hmm. his playing worked out an order where they made sense and then I made a backing track and played all of the licks myself yeah in as best Eric Clapton e style as I could um, and then made a track of it so so the guitar is quite nice and prominent yep. and it, it's specifically for students learning Excellent. the stuff because you can learn the vocabulary you should learn it from Clapton because yep. he speaks it much better than me I'm not <laughs> trying to say that I can do that stuff super well but I can speak the words well enough for you to learn them yep. and in the process of doing that one it's it's easier because it's clear it's up front yep. there's nothing getting in the way two I've got a tab for it that I can yeah. give you as well so you can check with it. Not, I'm not going to give you the tab right away because I want you to do it and then yeah. we'll check it together and go, mm -hmm. um, how did it work? Two, uh, three rather, I can show you exactly where it was and some of the detective work because you've already learned a bit of, about what it's like to be a detective. When you're transcribing, it's not just what the notes are. It's yeah. where did he play the note to be able to get, where did that noise come from? Oh, he's sliding up the neck, but that means he played this lick. Mm. You know, you have to go through this detective process. And if we're doing a Clapton solo, it's very difficult for us to know the, the definite answers for that stuff because we're not there unless there's a video of him doing it, right? Whereas the tracks that I played that I can give you, I know absolutely for certain this is how I played it and this is where I did it. So it's really good exercise for you to not just get the notes, but to figure out where I played the notes as mm -hmm. well, yeah? So I'm going to send you an MP3 of that. You've got the transcribe program already. Yeah. If you're... Uh, yeah, using Transcribe and that, if you're not certain about it, there's a lesson on how to use the Transcribe program on the website if you're a bit like, I'm not sure I'm doing this right or it feels harder, but I don't think it, you'll, you'll, I don't think you'll have any problems with it yeah. and you'll learn. I would like you to be able to do that whole Clapton one within two weeks okay. and in the process of that, you're going to learn a shed load of vocabulary. Some of the licks you're going to know. Right? Cool. You're going to go, I know that lick. You'll probably even listen to it and go, I know that lick and you'll be able to play that straight away. But and what I want you to realize in the process of that is how cool it's going to be when your vocabulary is even bigger yeah. and you can listen to most solos and go, I know most of those licks already. I know yeah. most of those words. It makes the whole process a lot simpler and a lot more fun. Awesome. Yeah. Now, I'm also going to add in a five minute a day thing, which I know that you're not looking forward to because you <laughs> even said it on the first one. You already know what it is, don't you? I know. I want... Notes on the neck. Yeah, yeah, right. no, I, actually, so, I really want to do this. I just, uh, I haven't, um, yeah, I, I must, must do this. So, what you're going to do, here's the exercise. It's very, very simple one. You're going to learn three notes all over the guitar neck, yeah. and those notes are going to be C, G, and D. Yeah. What you're going to do is you're going to start off playing, use only one finger, it's going to be your first finger, and you're going to play all of the C notes from the thicker string to the thinner string and back to the thicker string. Off you go. First finger only, so C on the thicker string. Go. Oh, no. First uh, finger only, C on the thicker <laughs> string. <laughs> Good. Now C on the fifth string. Good. C on the fourth string. Uh. <laughs> Just that, that's it. Good. C on the third string. You can do it, Lee. You can do it. You can do it. Um. Good. C on the second string. You're not allowed past the... Uh, tw uh, you're allowed on the twelfth fret. There's no open strings in this game, by yeah, the way. Yeah, okay. And C on the thinner string. Good, and back down again. So first, uh, second string, good. Third string, um, take your time and get it right. Good, C, uh, next string. C on the next string. Good. Good. Now, first day is just gonna be C. Yeah. So for five minutes, which is a bloody long yeah, yeah, time, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're gonna be going. <laughs> over and over and over again really important that you get it right yeah 
If yeah. you if you're stumbling, if you go like, uh, just really, th just like, okay, I'm 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 not going to guess this. There's C, so there's the octave of C up there. Yeah. Take your time to. It's much more yeah. important to get it right than to it, rush through those, and get it wrong. That's the. Um, I've just I've got it. I mean, you, it's funny you say. So here, here's this is the classic. I'm going to make myself sound like such a, 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 a novice now. C is one of the ones I hate because it's not one of the dotty ones. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm always going, is it that one or is it that yeah, one? Yeah. So anyway, so C is like classic. I've just, but then I do understand the octave. Yeah, good. You know, so but I don't, and I don't really know why I didn't think about and, it. And you can do the and octave I know, on that one as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then of course, and then and then I also know that wherever it was on this one is also going to be wherever it is on this one as yes. well. Yes. So the only so, real problem one is going to be the B string. Yes. But you you remember you've got the hint of the fifth fret, which is the E that you use for tuning. So if you're looking for notes, you know that that's B open string. So you'd probably yeah. be able to guess. Yeah, that's why. C. I, yeah. Probably D from a D chord. You'd recognise right. the D. E is the one that you use for tuning. So yeah. F is going to be the one next door. Yeah. G you might even know from your playing the pentatonic solos and stuff from box two. <laughs> Right, that, that okay. kind of lick, so you do da ba. So you, and probably you know that's A as well. For again from the solos, no, do, do you know do? Yeah, but I would, kind I, of, I, I'm not. I'm not going. Um, you're not going by. I'm the not note. going by the note. Okay, no. well you um, will. You will now. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you do C first. So the first day is only C. The second day, I want you to do or second practice session, I want you to do C and then G. So you do all of your C's, and you go right the way through, all of the way up and back down, and then you're going to do G, and you're going to go slowly through G. So here we go, G, and now don't get it wrong. That's it, only your first finger, good. No open strings, so you have to go up to the 12th Oh, part. okay, right. That's it, good. Um, oh man, this is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. And now I've How are you going to do where, it? How are you going to do it? Well, because I'm looking for where the octave was on this string and I've forgotten where it was. It's there and so it's got to be here, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Also remember when you tune, you go back five frets from the yeah. from the third string. So if you've got any note here, there's an E. One, two, three, well, sorry, count back four. So it's a five fret gap. Yeah. So from the E, one, two, three, four steps and down a string and you're going to be on the same note to get from the G string to the B string. So there's a G. Yeah. One, two, three, four and down a string and you're going to be on it. And yeah. how, why does that make sense? Because of you, the way you tune using an E. Right. One, two, three, four. Oh, I see. So relative. I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 brutal, isn't it? It's absolutely. Okay. So you're going to do yeah, just to make sure you got yeah. it. So you do C the C, first day. G and D. Second day, you do all of the C's, and then you do the G because that should be kind of more confident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you do the G's really slow. Then you do the C's again. Then you do the G's really slowly. Do the C's again. Do the G's really slowly. Third day. You're going to do the C's, the G's, and then the D's. So again, you'll be then doing D, D, D. But you can't. That's it. Yeah, why is this? There's definitely certain, there's definitely certain, the, 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 it must be something to do with the fact that the D and the, I don't know, it's such a, it's such a sort of a dominant. I don't know. It's, don't a, know. it's on the dots. It's, 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 yeah. I, by Christmas, you're not going to give a, a rat's about that at all. You're going to know all of the notes on the fretboard properly so that you'll just be able to point to any one and be able to name it more or less instantly. Yeah. Right? That's, that's going to happen by Christmas. Right? As long yeah. as you can stick with doing some practice for me, yeah. that, that, that won't be an issue. And I know that's something you've mentioned since the very first time I met you. You said yeah. that you didn't know the notes on the fingerboard. I don't so know the we'll, notes. Just, no, we'll no. just sort it out. This is a really, I, I really still, powerful exercise. I, I still. I, again, I don't even know. What do, do you use an acronym for the open strings? I mean, I just go Iadgava. It's like it's my it's my, and I still even now between the G and the B string, I just do the Iadgava. Right, that's right. That's the G and that's the B, isn't it? It's wow. so bad. It's so bad. You just we'll, we'll, we'll nip but, that out. We're done. Yeah, yeah. I, I use every uh, Easter Bunny gets drunk after Easter was the one yeah. that I had, but starting from the thinner string, obviously. But, um, okay, so this is what my, so here's another, yeah. so I'll ask a tutor now. My daughter, my mm -hmm. five-year-old daughter, who is being given guitar lessons by a very nice chap at her school at the moment, mm -hmm. um, and I feel sorry for her really, because she's desperately confused that this is the bottom string and this is the top string. Mm -hmm. 
Because it's absolutely not, is it? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, it's like, as in, and I'm trying to say to her, well, think of bottom as in the one that makes the lowest note and top exactly. of the one that makes the that's, top. That's why. And she, she's just like, but it's not, but that's just the one that's on the top. And it's like, oh, yeah. you're so right. And I don't know how to explain no. this to you. It is just to do with the, the sound, the bottom mm. sound, the lowest sound and the highest sound. You would say the highest sound is the top sound and the, lo you know, the lowest sound is the bottom sound. That's, you yeah. know, that, so that C, is why. So C, G and D on the notes. But you could also explain to her that they're numbered one, two, three, four, five, yeah. six. That might help. And remember yeah, yeah. that one is the thinnest one. Like yeah. the number one is the yeah. skinniest oh, yeah, number. That's a good idea. So one, two, three, four, five, six is quite a fat kind of a number. You know? So that might be a from your bingo calling back. days. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I recognise sixes, I'm quite good at that. <laughs> um, uh, right, so your routine then is going to be still ten minutes of fun. Yeah. You're going to have then five minutes of the, the scales, which will be the major scale up and mm -hmm. down, and then the major scale in thirds. Then you'll have your five minutes of find the notey stuff, and ten minutes of little wing. Let's stick with little mm -hmm. wing, I think, and just sort that out a little bit mm -hmm. more. Uh, and then we'll, I think, once you let's give it another probably one more session after this, yeah. just to tidy it up a bit, and then we'll yeah. start to have a look at black dog or something else interesting. Yeah. Um, and then. For transcribing, I want you to do the, this session. It'll yeah. probably take you, for most people, it seems to take about two hours mm -hmm. to do the whole thing. So if it, maybe you don't, if you only got an hour, you're not going to get the whole thing done. But see, see how far you can get. Make sure you write it down in the tab. Um, uh, I'll give you, I'll email you the MP3, but I'm not going to give you any more clues than that because I don't think you'll need it. You'll be able to hear the key mm -hmm. pretty quickly, and you'll recognise. You're going to recognise some of the licks, and I don't think you'll have any problems okay. with that. Um, was there anything else on the schedule from last time? I don't think there was, no. was there? No, that was the schedule. Okay, so, and just, yeah, I'll, I'll print out another sheet for you with oh. the stuff. Uh, just remember to bring the sheet in next time. I will, Because so I, I, yes. uh, mm. I want to show the good people out there that are watching, look how well Lee's practicing. They will see an improvement already when they see you doing the scales compared to last session, how you found it really awkward. Do you want to do that one more time? Here we go, from, from the beginning. Just play it through. I just, no, I think, I can't. Now, nah. that's it. Good. Good. Sticky. No, little finger again. That's the one part of that that's really difficult. Good. No. I know what this just sounded like. <laughs> but no, I, I get the, I, I mean, I, I, I do want to. Try it going down. Oh god, yeah, I haven't even tried this once yet, have we? Yeah. So, no. so it's not. Well, normally I just go da boo da da. Oh. That's it. Little finger again. So, little finger on those two strings, you have to use little finger twice. Then you'd miss this note and then end up on that one. That's it. Do. I like it. I like the sound of it. That's good. Um, we're going to, next week, we're going to prep, start work on pattern two as well and linking pattern one and pattern two together using this. This is the three notes per... No, no, just the regular... I'm not going to teach you three notes per strings. I for thought, so one. pattern two of the major scale, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's not that. That's not pattern two then? No. Nope. Okay. Fine. Not that I want to learn that. I just wonder what it yeah. is. Okay. I'd, 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 I'll explain it to you um, if you want, and we can no, talk around. If, if there's other technical stuff that you're keen yeah. on, because we didn't really talk about that too much if there was too many technical things, but for me, your playing style is, you don't strike me as the guy who wants to learn all of that Tom Quayle, you know, legato, widdly, widdly thing. No, no, actually, I, that's not fair. I shouldn't put Tom in the widdly, widdly box because he's not a widdly, widdler. He's an extremely melodic player. Yeah, but he's I, I don't know that I want to... I think, to be honest with you, that, that I, I, I genuinely do want to try and just go back to. It would be good just to get to just 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 get a base point and go look. You know, there's lots of things that I can do okay. There's a load of stuff that I can't do at all. Let's try and just get a baseline. Mm -hmm. So I'm sort of I'm not too. You know, I've got a few that, more bits in the. That's box. kind of like bluesy rock though for you, right? That's that. That's yes. your home yeah, yeah, yeah. field yeah. where we want to make you nice and solid. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right. 
Onwards. I think you're, I think you're done. I am. Right. Happy days. Good Thank session. you so much again. Yes, I, I shall see everybody again in another couple of weeks. Sorry this wasn't live this week. Yeah. So uh, you, we haven't been able to answer any of your questions in real time. No. Perhaps, perhaps I don't know if this is better, worse, may, 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 Maybe when I put the video up, we can just answer the comments on the on the video. We could do that. Good shout. That way. We'll do of. it like that. It's yeah, just partly sure. because the audio was really crappy on the last one. Is that I haven't it was? Had it. Well, yeah, when I used that little Mevo thing, the audio was horrible. And mm. I haven't found a way yet of because you, you used to be able to connect a, a different mic to a phone, mm. but now that the phones don't have even a, a headphone socket, mic yeah. socket thing, yeah. I couldn't figure out how to do we've, it. So, um, um, yeah, we have managed to. So we've redone our live stream setup now, and we've realised that as long as we don't try and broadcast higher than seven twenty, mm -hmm. it's not too bad. Uh, but we are having. We're going to put a least line in on the video room oh. just because well. otherwise. I was, I was talking to. So I had someone over from America, and they're, they're, they're from Kansas, which is apparently, it's that good Google headquarters on right. it. So, like, the whole of Canvas is on uh, one gigabit upload yeah. and download. And it's like, it's like and, we're, and we're going, we're lucky if we get, like, 10 yeah, right. megabits of upload. Yeah, you know, right. just like, so streaming's a nightmare for us, but yeah. we'll, we'll get it better. I I, streaming's a nightmare here too, but it's, um, yeah. Okay. We'll see you hopefully live. If I can figure out my OBS software, then we'll see you uh, live. Otherwise, we'll do it like this, and we'll try and get in and answer some questions for you uh, on the in the comments of this YouTube video when it goes up. Hopefully later today. Put this back. Cool. Nice one. Right. Bye bye. Bye guys.